बहारो फूल बरसाओ मेरा महबूब आया है मेरा महबूब आया है बहारो फूल बरसाओ मेरा महबूब आया है मेरा महबूब आया है हवाओ राग निगाओ मेरा महबूब आया है मेरा महबूब आया है वेलकम टू येट दादर एडिशन ऑफ कटिंग चाय we are really happy to have with us today we are really lucky i would say to have with us today rafi saab's family his older son in law and daughter meera ahmed ji and nasreen ahmed ji his uh, second son in law and daughter parvez ahmed ji yasmin ahmed ji and his youngest son mohammed shahid rafi ji uh, we owe it to mtas bhai for being the bridge to rafi saab's family and uh, making this evening a uh, reality for those of you who are new to arohi cutting chai we are a band of professionals who pursue music as a passion amateur singers all of us we bonded over bollywood retro and south indian film songs and we've had great fun performing on stage to raise funds and awareness for good causes <coughs> like children with cancer multiple sclerosis pediatric cardiac surgeries rotary autistic children etc we also visit homes for less privileged and spend time to entertain them with the music our other focus is to support livelihood for musicians and all our shows feature a vibrant live band of professional musicians as you all know covid has made it impossible to hold live events and cutting chai was born as a lockdown edition mumbai style bonding over a cup of chai and we thought we will go on for a couple of months but here we are 11th edition and we are loving the digital avatar because it is having its own merits transcending borders but we haven't forgotten our purpose to support the good causes and live musicians arohi and priya has been raising funds to provide monthly grocery staples to musician families identified by musician yuvraj the number of musicians supported supported are rising every month and now we are also reaching out to donors the rations are about 1000 rupees per family so who are would like to contribute towards the kit please send the funds uh, through the snapshot we shared at the beginning of the show we'll also share it at the end again once again we are so grateful uh, and lucky to have you all with us uh, uh, rafi sahab's family uh, and we have really been looking forward to this it's so exciting because while i you know even while i speak about it if if i have to talk about myself it would be a uh, common to generations of music lover rafi sahab is like like what manmohan desai said agar koi khuda ki awaaz hai to wo wo hi hai rafi sahab so that's really what it is we grew up listening to his melodious voice on vivid bharti and strangely i even remember all those words even today and it's not just one generation even today's teenagers love rafi even as a baby my son used to love sarjo zara chakra you know and tel malish was like the highlight of that song so let me begin uh, with this question uh, to you he sang like over 26000 songs so tell us where it all started what was his inspiration and what really attracted him to music shahid shahid kahe <laughs> is that this one Yes, I think we have a Rizwan also on the call today. That's yeah, yeah. Rizwan. Salaam alaikum, Chacha. Salaam alaikum, everybody. Salaam alaikum, Salaam. He's my nephew. He's my eldest eldest brother's son. Salaam alaikum, Rizwan from London. Salaam alaikum, everybody. Ah, wa alaikum salam. Hope you're all well. Yeah, yeah. yeah Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Nice to see you all. Yeah. Dad was inspired by a fakir. Fakir, I'm I'm not saying a proper beggar. He was not a beggar. I said, "No, fakir, होते हैं ना जो अपने एकदम मतलब अपनी धुंधकी में रहते हैं। वो वो मतलब वैसे टाइप के फकीर थे वो लाहौर के अंदर एक अपने जहाँ पे अब्बा रहते थे। वो मोहल्ले के अंदर से वो फकीर हमेशा गुजरता था। वो जब गुजरता था तो उसने एक तारा करके � तो उसके पीछे 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 जाते थे 
वो एक पेड़ के नीचे वो बैठ जाता था और फिर डैड यूज टू लिसन टू इट वो सुनते थे तो उसको काफी और काफी महीने तक अपना ऐसा चलते रहा तो वो फकीर ने कहा कि एक बार मतलब ही वॉज क्यूरियस कि मतलब ये लड़का हमेशा मेरे मेरा पीछा करता है क्या बात है तो बुलाए इधर तो डैड वन टू ही वॉज हार्डली अबाउट एट नाइन ईयर तो डैड गए उनके पास और बोले कि क्या तू मेरा पीछा क्यों करता तू रोज मेरे पीछे पीछे आता है यहाँ पे बैठता है और क्या सुनता क्या सुनता तू बोले मेरे को आपकी आवाज बहुत पसंद है आपकी आवाज इतनी अच्छी हो जो आप लाना गाते हो बहुत अच्छा लगता है मुझे अच्छा तो तू तू भी गाता है बोले नहीं मैं गाता नहीं हूँ लेकिन मैं आपको बहुत सुनता हूँ मेरा मेरी चाहत होती है कि मैं गाऊ अच्छा तुझे ये गाना याद है तो बोले हाँ मुझे याद है बोले गा के सुना तो अब्बा ने सुनाया उसको तो ही वॉज इम्प्रेस तो फकीर वॉज इम्प्रेस और पीछे पीठ पे थपथपाए बोले जा बेटा तू एक दिन बहुत बड़ा आदमी बने डैट वॉज इंस्पायर्ड बाई फकीर एंड दिस इज हाउ मतलब उनका पैशन यू नो इंस्परेशन जो था उनका उनका पैशन बन गया ये तो फिर बाद में तो Well, उन्होंने तो कह दिया कि हाउ ही वॉज इंस्पायर्ड एंड दैट वॉज हिज जर्नी जर्नी स्टार्ट देन एंड देर यू नो और फिर आगे जो भी है वो तो खैर ऊपर वाले ने तो सब लिख दिया सब लिख दिया था उनके लिए <laughs> so maybe we can start uh, the show with one of his initial uh, songs you know the first song suhani raat dhal chuki na jaane tum kab aoge सुहानी रात ढल चुकी ना जाने तुम कब आओगे जहाँ की रुत बदल चुकी ना जाने तुम कब आओगे so this is one of the uh, i think initial songs but uh, we'd like to know from you uh, you know about his early years in bollywood hum sunte hain na itna struggle hota hai ye hota hai wo hota hai you know to get a break so how really did he get his big break and uh, how did he really start off his career how did it take off shahid oh you i'm sorry i'm sorry yeah could you repeat the question please yeah basically i uh, you know the struggle was how did he really you know enter into bollywood ek ek baat hai ki fakir ke geet sunkar wo geetkar banna chahte the i mean singer banna chahte the and uh, yes. then what did he do after that how did he you know did he train nahi us waqt to apna obviously i mean that was the initial stage that was the initial stage par lekin apna ऐसा एक किस्सा मैं बताऊँ आपको ये तो अभी अपना हमारे अब्बा से हमारे माँ अम्मा से ये सब सुनते हैं हम कि लाहौर के अंदर अपना एक शो, शो मतलब उधर एक प्रॉपर अपना हॉल वॉल तो नहीं हुआ करता था उस वक्त थोड़ा भी ना अपना वेरी सॉर्ट ऑफ वेरी विलेज टाइप ऑफ हॉल तो वहाँ पे सैगर साहब का अपना शो होना वाला था सैगर साहब के एल सैगर तो हाँ तो उस वक्त क्या हुआ था कि जब अपने एवरीथिंग वॉज वेरी सब कुछ पे आते डैड वॉज एक्साइटेड आई मीन एल ब्रदर बदनेम ऑफ दिल ताया दिल ताया ने उनको भी लेकर गया था पोस्ट शो के लिए और अपना जब वो लेकर गए वहाँ पे तो अचानक लाइट चली गई थी अचानक अपना यू नो लाइट वेंट ऑफ अपने को लेकर अपने अपना सारे झूठे पीपल सारे झूठे एंड बोले कि अपने क्या हो रहा है जैसे मैडम किसी ने ऐसे ही बोल दिया था कि अपने यार ये डॉक्टर तो गाता है मोहल्ले में और अपने महफिल में और ये सब में तो थोड़ा सा इसको गवा देते जब तक उसने हो गया बिलीव मी आई मीन ही वेंट ऑन द स्टेज एंड ही सॉन्ग ही सैंग बिकॉज बट ही सैंग 
he was appreciated by everybody. It's not appreciate, uh, appreciation wrong. So, okay, what I mean, people, but the logo bhoda chala. Without the loudspeaker. Sorry, come again. Without the loudspeaker. Yeah, without the loudspeaker. Obviously, the no lights, so obviously, loudspeaker to hold by me. As I said, before the lights came in, so lights, the loudspeaker to thai nahi udha. Ah, ah. So they started the uh, appreciation, like was there. So they exam suddenly, <clears throat> fortunately, uh, I would say, ये दिन ताय जो जो बड़े भाई थे अब्बा के हमारे तो वहाँ पे अपने बैठे बैठे उनके साथ बाजू में ये एक इंसान बैठे थे जिनका नाम था शाम सुंदर था वो अगर म्यूजिक डायरेक्टर दो से तो उन्होंने अपने ऐसे सरकारी तौर पे पूछा ये लड़का कौन है बहुत अच्छा गाता है तो ये मेरा छोटा भाई है उसको � एक तरीके से अपने आउट से अपने एक एक क्या बोलते हैं उसको अपना ब्लेसिंग इन डिस्गाइज जैसे बोलते हैं ना ब्लेसिंग इन डिस्गाइज कि एक चीज अपना उनको अपना उसी वक्त मिल गई यू नो दैट वे तो ओब्वियसली व्हेन डैड मेंटल दिन ताया ताया दिन अपने जब लेके जब बोले हाँ तुम आओ मेरे पास शौक पैदा होने लगा उनको अपना ज़्यादा शौक पैदा होने लगा फिर उसने उसके बाद अपना ये स्ट्रगल इन दिस एंड बहुत उन्होंने स्ट्रगल बेशक बहुत किया जब नी केम तो बॉम्बे ही स्ट्रगल क्वाइट अलग लेकिन फिर भी अपना यू नो कि मतलब एक होप था उनको कि मतलब किसी ने मुझे पसंद किया है तो हो सकता है � you know, although I mean he sang over there in uh, Lahore also. So there we have now, for example, of Unki Sapsapani Punjabi Santi, Rauki Bori, Totali, Gulbaloch, Punjabi Santi, and Unki Pedi, Hindi Santi, Gauki Bori. And uh, both Dono uh, film Kanda, music director was Shamsun Nasa. And it's not a self. I mean, I don't remember that uh, uh, song, but uh, Gaunki Gori ka tha kuch aur apne uh, Gul Baloch ka bhi tha us ki gana, bohut achcha na. Kiriya ni, Sonia ni, something like that. I really don't know the proper word. <coughs> but then uh, that, <coughs> unho ko struggle to karna pada tha, uh, jab aai jab Bombay. So that time it was Bombay, to be very honest. And uh, jab wo aai Bombay, to... दो या तीन ग्लास वस्तु ये होते हैं पिलो पिलो केसे पिलो कबल उसमें चना भर के आए थे वो और ऐसे आए थे कि मतलब इन ऑब्वियसली हमारे दादा वो टोटली अगेंस्ट हैं कि नहीं जाना बजाना अपना इस गॉड इस गुड थिंग फॉर आप हमारे ऑटोडॉक्स ऑब्वियसली आई मीन के मतलब नहीं ये बहुत गलत चीज है और अपना � तो वो कुछ करना कुछ और करो लेकिन गाना बजाने ये वाज अगेंस्ट है लेकिन फिर भी उनको पता नहीं ये था कि नहीं मुझे गाना गाना है मुझे गाना गाना है तो उनके बड़े भाई ने थोड़ा सब का पुश किया दिल ताए की बात कर रहा हूँ बोले कि ठीक है अपना कोशिश करेंगे तो इन्होंने क्या किया जब वहीं वहीं of the whole family, uh, a family friend by the name of Hamid Taya. We call him Taya because obviously he was a, a very close friend of Deen Taya. So, unke, <clears throat> Deen Taya na unse kaha ke tum ek kaam karo. Ravi ko bahut shock upne hi tha, to usko thoda sa push karo. So, to Bombay tum hi le jao. Like I mean, he handed Ravi Zaf, I mean, uh, that to him and said that. तुम्हारी जिम्मेदारी में है मेरा भाई तुम्हारी जिम्मेदारी डेट टाइम बहुत कोशिश करके चुप चुप बार के इतना दादा अब्बा को ज़्यादा कुछ मालूम नहीं था कि पीछे ही इतना दादा अब्बा के इतने काम अब्बा से सीखते थे उनकी माँ को जब मालूम पड़ा तो दादी ने इतना उनको बहुत बाई दी उनकी माँ की दुआ that way, when he came to Bombay, 
struggling wife when he came to bombay <coughs> seen pillow cases pillow covers unko chana bhar ke apna lekar aaye the wahan se lahore se aur chana phalte the pani peete the chana phalte the so yeah that was i mean for few months i mean he did that but then apna he struggled to sab karte lekin i mean my dad also struggled quite a lot and uh, उनको एक आध काम मिल गया एक होता है ना कि एक एक अपॉर्चुनिटी मिलती किसी को वो अपॉर्चुनिटी कहाँ से कहाँ ले जाती है तो यू नो आई वुड से आई मीन पीपल से मतलब रफी साहब वॉज रिकग्नाइज आई वुड से गाने उनसे पहले भी बहुत गाए उन्होंने बट ही वॉज नॉट रिकग्नाइज रफी साहब वॉज रिकग्नाइज बाय दिस सॉन्ग जहाँ बदला वफा का बेवफाई की सजा क्या है people okay. came to know from uh, the film jubnu okay people recognized ke koi mohammad rafi kar ke koi singer aaya from that song although he sang mm-hmm. before that also i'm not saying no but recognition ke matlab oh koi mohammad rafi aaya you know that way so mm-hmm. from there mashallah then that did not look bad then he journey was By the grace of God, I mean, as I'm doing, it was. The rest was history. I mean, Nausad yeah. Sahab ke saath kuch interesting sa kisa suna tha about his, uh, you know, tryst with Nausad Sahab. How it began? Nahi bolu. Bolie. Koi bhi bol dije. Sunna hai humne. Parvez ko maanu mein Parvez bata de. जो डैडी थे गाना गाते थे अच्छे बेहतरीन और ये होते कान थे जो सुनते हैं हम सुनने वालों में अच्छा बता दीजिए उनको नौशाद साहब कौन सा आप बताइए देखिए नौशाद साहब के पास अपने अपना अपने अपना डैड ही नौशाद साहब का दाम बहुत बड़ा था मतलब ही वाज नंबर ये मतलब टॉप के अपना म्यूजिक डायरेक्टर तो किसी ने अपने ताया जी को कहा था कि मतलब अपना अगर आपको कुछ ये नौशाद साहब के जाना है तो कोई अच्छी सिफारिश करके जाइए तो बेहतर है You know that way. I am not very sure about the whole story, but itta mujhe malum tha ki dad and Tayaji had gone to Lucknow just to take some sifarish from Nasha Sab father. My God, correct. You know what I am trying to say. Nasha Sab ke father ne ek letter likha aur bhi se unhone sunaya hoga kuch bhi Nasha Sab ke father ko kuch to sunaya hoga. That is the reason why he wrote a letter. कि ये बच्चे को चांस दो सो डैड बॉम्बे और फिर वो सिफारिश तो नौशाद साहब है टू से वन थिंग यार तुमने सिफारिश को बहुत बड़ी लेकर आए इसको मैं ठुकरा नहीं सकी दैट वे देन नौशाद साहब अपना गेव अ चांस टू डैट एंड फर्स्ट फॉर माइथिंग वॉज पहले आप इन अ कोरस फॉरेस्ट में अपने उन्होंने गवाए थे अब्बा को एंड फिर उसके बाद अपने देवर सो मेनी अदर सॉन्ग फिर आस्ते आस्ते उन्होंने फिर अपना मेन सिंगर बना दिए थे अब्बा को बट देन ही फॉर नशाद साहब ही सैंग इन अ कोरेस्ट इनफैक्ट वी हर्ड अ स्टोरी दैट यू नो तलत महमूद साहब स्मोक कर रहे थे और नशाद साहब उस उस पे बहुत खफा हो गए तो इसमें कोई सच्चाई है क्या नहीं सर देखिए अभी इन दिंग इज आई डोंट टॉक अबाउट ऑल दैट बट बिकॉज अभी जो कॉन्ट्रोवर्सीज आ जाती हैं लेकिन ऐसा कुछ नहीं है लेकिन आई मीन द थिंग इज कि अपना इससे भी सिगरेट पीने से क्यों उससे पहले भी तो सिगरेट सिगरेट पीते ही थे ना वो ऐसा नहीं कि नहीं पीते थे यू कैन यू डिड नॉट स्टार्ट स्मोकिंग दैट टाइम और तो सिगरेट तो बहुत पहले भी पीते थे तो आई मीन दैट इज जस्ट एक मीडिया का अपना एक एक अब उससे स्टोरी बनाना तो है कुछ ना कुछ तो बनाना है कि रफी साहब को अंदर कैसे आए दैट इज वॉट नॉन आई 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 डोंट आई मीन जो गलत है वो गलत है 
So yeah, they of course. I mean, uh, no friendship in the sense. I mean, they were that that. That I will tell you. So, unki to koi dushmani kisi ke saath hi. He was a very nice person. Nice, मतलब एकदम ही सीधे इंसान थे वो एकदम ही मतलब किसी के लेन देन में he was very much attached to his family and work. That's it. बस उनको और कुछ नहीं never socialize. Socializing करते ही नहीं थे that. That was totally for the family and his work. काम खत्म होता तो सी इधर घर आते थे. So that is. और तलक जी का अपना ऐसा था कि वो तो बहुत सिंगर हम नॉट बट देन प्रॉब्लम अपना नौशाद साहब को कुछ अलग लगा रफी साहब ने कुछ कि यार ये इसकी आवाज कुछ अजीब पर अजीब नहीं मतलब एक बहुत साफ सुथरी वेलवेटी वॉइस सब उनके आवाज में थी तो प्रॉब्लम सारे गिविंग इन चाहिए सिगरेट पी रहे थे तो उसको हटा दिया चलिए इस बात पे एक बढ़िया गाना नौशाद जी के निर्देशन में संगीत निर्देशन में जो उन्होंने गाया था एक छोटा सा अंश सुन ले अभी दुनिया के रखवाले सुन दर्द भरे मेरे नाले सुन दर्द भरे मेरे नाले ओ दुनिया के I have a question, you know, for the family. Uh, Rafi Sahab had a phenomenal range of songs. You know, he used to sing the bhajans, ghazals, kawalis, Hindustani, classical, various languages. I think he has even sung an English number. I just keep wondering, you know, what is it that was the secret of that voice? Uh, what was the foundation? I mean, I, I'm sure he had a very, very, very strong foundation. that made him so versatile so i would like to know from the family you know what is there any secret behind that boys or is it riyas or a gift or i don't know i mean it's something so phenomenal i would like to know what exactly is the secret behind that boys na shreen ji it's god's gift and nothing it's god's gift my father did not know any language as such he only knew urdu or punjabi but uh-huh. mashallah he has sung so many songs you know in different languages and mm-hmm. english he really loved you know usne bhi unhone gana gaya and his pronunciation was really fantastic koi to ye samajhte honge that i mean people must be thinking that he knows english very well but mm-hmm. he didn't know anything he didn't know thank god That amazing is, yeah he he was very fond of learning ek sahab the um हरिंद्र नाथ चट्टोपाध्या तो उन्होंने उनको इंग्लिश सिखाया कुछ महीने तक के बट माय फादर कुड नॉट गो फर्दर तो तक के उन्होंने लेकिन वो गाना गाया जो इंग्लिश में जो दो गाना गाए हैं उन्होंने ही हैज सांग टू सॉन्ग्स इन इंग्लिश तो ही हैड ओनली ट्रांसलेटेड इट एंड गिवन इन टू हिम एंड उन्होंने फिर वो गाना शुरू किया घर में ही रिहर्सल करते थे उस गाने की and uh, mr chatopadhyay jo hai he used to correct his pronunciation also so mashallah you all are, everybody has heard that song and it was a super hit it was a super wow. hit. so that's the secret the gift of god yes mm. yes it but uh, no did doubt he, about it <laughs> he didn't practice every day and you know like did, is he formally did trained he? in music nasreen ji pade pade formally koi i mean guru se unhone seekha hai like I I think कुछ वक्त तक सीखा है आई एम सॉरी आई डोंट नो द नेम्स माय ब्रदर मस्ट बी नोइंग इन लोग सब जानते होंगे परवेज इन लोग नाम हमको नहीं पता है लेकिन जी थोड़ा सी रियाज आई मीन उनके साथ उन्होंने रियाज किया था लेकिन एवरी मॉर्निंग इन ड्यूरिंग हिज इनिशियल डेज आई वुड से माय फादर यूज्ड टू डू रियाज अर्ली मॉर्निंग ही यूज्ड टू गेट अप उनका एक कमरा अलग था सुबह ही उठते थे और वो रियाज करते थे थोड़े आई मीन कुछ वक्त तक उन्होंने रियाज किया After that, he gave up. 
I mean, फिर वो खुद ही माशाल्लाह his voice was so good that he didn't need any rehearsal as such, you know. वो एक दो बार बस गाना सुन लेते थे, music directors जो हैं उनको बता देते थे and he went on. <laughs> you know i'd like to play one of his uh, you know most dif- difficult uh, songs i would say you know it's a classical based song not easy for anybody to sing even unless you're trained i would say but like you said maybe it's god gift <laughs> actually आवाज बोले तो you know I I you know I also want to ask you I have heard uh, you know stories about how your mother used to take special chai in a flask for every recording so <laughs> can you tell us what was this magic potion for his throat Vidya Vidya just before they answer this query let us uh, first uh, you know wish the family because today happens to be the birthday of uh, Mrs Mohammad Rafi and wow. that is the reason why the family agreed to do the show so we are very grateful to them for having chosen this date you know so i'm I sure i'm sure i'm sure you want to say a word about you would like to say a word about that first i want to dedicate a song to her yes please to do begin that with. yes aata pe khelti hai tab sun ke bijliya सजते तुम्हारी राह में करती है कह कशा दुनिया हुस्नाइश्क का तुम ही शबाब हो चौदवी का चांद हो ताप हो जो भी हो तुम खुदाग कसम लाजवाब हो चौदवी का चांद हो सो ओवर टू यू मदर अबाउट चाय about rotis which she used to make for rafi saab you can share everything with us ha chai to khair unki special chai banti thi aur whenever he used to go for recordings and all the flask was always with him you know chai was made in the uh, tea was always prepared for him but there were a few uh, music directors and all who would love to you know have that tea but he used to share with them no doubt he used to share with them also और सचमुच वो बड़ी लाजवाब इट वाज एक्सीलेंट थी आई वुड से यू नो उनकी मॉम की स्पेशलिटी इज इट स्टिल अ ट्रेड सीक्रेट नो नो इट्स नॉट अ ट्रेड सीक्रेट दूध की बनती थी इट वाज ऑफ मेड ऑफ मिल्क एंड देयर वाज इलायची एंड अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ दालचीनी लौंग शुगर दैट्स इट नो कैशू वो पकाते थे ओके उसके रोटी 
So we show you that you know that uh, passion for eating and all it has all come from my father. Both of us show that. I mean, he was very fond of uh, eating, and well, some of us have good mother here. And my mother, I would say, um, very strong lady. She was a very very strong lady. साथ बच्चों को पालना एंड ये नहीं कि शी यूज्ड टू जस्ट कि बच्चा अरे उधर है तो उधर है नो शी यूज्ड टू गिव इंडिविजुअल अटेंशन टू ईच एंड एवरीवन देखती थी कि बराबर यानी बच्चा कोई गलत काम तो नहीं कर रहे हैं या ना कि वी वर ऑल किड्स बट एंड वी वर स्टेइंग इन अ टू बेडरूम फ्लैट इन द इनिशियली व्हेन वी केम टू बैंड्रा एंड व्हेन व्हेन फादर वाजंट अराउंड वी वर लाइक I mean, all spoiled brats. I would say, you know, it really must be. I mean, so much of uh, noise and uh, but she never used to say anything. But, but the moment my father used to enter the house, there was pin drop silence. यानी किसी को एक आवाज नहीं निकला. यानी कि सबको बच्चों को उन्होंने पहले से warning करती थी. When your father is in the house, when he comes in, I don't want a sound from any one of you. And we and we were all, you know, closed in one room, all of us. और उधर ही एक रूम में हम लोग अपना जो भी है खामोशी आई मीन यूज टू प्ले वॉट एवर वेरी क्वाइटली इन आर रूम देर इज वन देर इज वन इंसिडेंट विच इज फ्लोटिंग अराउंड विच विच हैज टू बी वैलिडेटेड बाय द फैमिली दैट रफी साहब को खाना इतना पसंद था कि एक बार वो जब यूके में थे और कॉमेंट्री में एक शो करने चले गए थे तो उनको बड़ी परेशानी हुई वहां के खाने से एंड ही ड्रो ऑल द वे टू लंडन टू यूर टू द एल्डर सन्स हाउस टू हैव दाल चावल एंड गो बैक फॉर द शो इन द इवनिंग अच्छा <laughs> no i'm sorry i wouldn't know that <laughs> i somebody i mean that's exactly the reason why i wanted the family to to validate these kind of stories which are there there are plenty of them going around no no, no, no. it's not possible it's not possible i mean because when you're talking about coventry coventry <laughs> is quite far from uh, what uh, my elder brother used to stay i mean uh, he is uh, he, he stays in uh, uh, near hatton cross station uh, near heathrow airport and coventry is there That would be about a three-hour journey or six-hour journey backwards forwards. Yes, so yes, I don't think that would have been possible. No, no, that's not possible. That's a just rumor, just rumor. And let me put it this way: let me put it this way. That Dad was never fussy about food. He was foodie, no doubt. But he was not fussy. He could get anything. He could take the name of the person and eat it. That never he was fussy about. Are you any chee? Are you any chee? No, no, no. Please, this is. Uh, I mean, people should understand this. That means that he could not get food. He would go somewhere else to eat food. No. That could be get food. He would take the name of the person and eat food. So he was not fussy. No, not food. Ha. Huh. No doubt he was foodie. No doubt about it. Milta was too. No problem. But yes. I think he had a special preference for sweets, uh, Shahid Bhai. Yeah, yeah. We so, this time, I mean, first, first, it was like that. I mean, when you eat, you eat in the fridge. 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 He was, he was. But I mean, then he started controlling himself. But then I think it was too late. By the time he started controlling. I mean, diabetes was too high. At what age did he get diabetes? When did he contract diabetes? That uh, maybe maybe is in his thirties, late thirties or late thirties. Yeah, late thirties. Yeah, late thirties. Oh, late thirties. Yeah. And how was it growing up with a famous uh, father like Rafi Sir for the children? What was it? I wanted to play a song which was yeah, please, 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 of, uh, yeah. you know the parents. Yeah. You please, know what please, the please, parents please. really stood for. It's a SD Burman number, and I think uh, you know it will be very apt for the evening. Just a snatch of that song. <laughs> ये छूटेगा लाख मना ले दुनिया साथ ना ये छूटेगा आके मेरे हाथों में हाथ ना ये छूटेगा तो मेरे जीवन साथी तेरे मेरे सपने 
अपने अब एक रंग है तो जहाँ भी ले जाए राहे हम संग हैं हो तेरे मेरे सपने अब एक रंग है Hari, over to you. Yeah, I mean, it's the question to the entire family. How was it growing up as children of Rafi Sir? I mean, there must have been immense pressure also. That's but how was he as a father? How would he spend time with you? Uh, I mean, father, grandfather. Because such a quiet man at home also. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, बहुत ही खामोश तबीयत के थे. But he only wanted the children around him. You know, he said everybody should be in front of me. That's it. चाहे वो बात करे या नहीं करे बस बच्चों को लाइक आई मीन ही जस्ट जस्ट सी देम एंड टू फील वेरी वेरी हैप्पी यू नो लुकिंग एट देम अच्छा उनको गुस्सा भी कभी आता ही नहीं था पर कभी आया भी तो उनकी आंखों में होता था और हम बच्चे बस इट वॉज आई डोंट नो उनकी आंखों में पढ़ लेते थे कि उनको कोई बात पसंद नहीं आई है <laughs> लेकिन मुंह से कभी उन्होंने ये नहीं कहा कभी नहीं Was he doting? Relation tha hum log ka, bahut hi alag relation tha. But uh, was he extremely possessive of the girls or the boys? Ah, ladkiya, the girls. <laughs> boys ke liye bhi, lekin jitni ladkiyon ke baar ye bhi bahut possessive the. Very possessive and very protective also is what you yes. told me. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> bahut zyada. Oh, yeah. yes, uh, did he did he score you uh, his his children any time? Was what what was it that he didn't like? What was it that made him uh, say irritated or angry? Did it did it happen any time? No, ऐसे तो डांट वगैरह तो नहीं पड़ी कभी उनसे. That was my mother's department, you know. That was her department. Okay, अच्छा बुरा कुछ भी होता था. It was the mother who used to take care of all that, not my father. वो जल्दी किसी को कुछ नहीं बोलते थे. किसी को नहीं कुछ बोलते थे. He was a, not even a man of few sentences. He was actually a man of few words, literally, because even yes. when you man of very few. हम लोग के साथ भी बहुत कम बात करते थे. I can share one incident. Yeah. Um, we never used to go. We, we girls have never seen the recording studio till date. Mm. Uh, mm. None, none of us. You know, the three of us, we've never seen a recording. Studio. Now, when I grew a little big, um, I would say around seventeen, eighteen years old, and uh, there was a very big program, and uh, maybe, uh, maybe, 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 uh, maybe night. Yes, maybe night. Right. Yeah. Maha, it was a very big, very big program. Tha. and i don't know how my mother i mean my father he took me over there with my mother both of us my uncle uh, made us sit not in front but peeche bithaya tha unhone you know <laughs> he made us sit behind <laughs> and i was so excited looking at all the uh, film the the heroes and heroine itne excited ho rahe the idhar se udhar udhar se idhar hum dekhe ja rahe sabko that was the first time i have seen you know um, the artist सबको देखा वहां पे बहुत अच्छा लगा इतना अच्छा लग रहा था आई वॉज सुपर एक्साइटेड आई वुड से अच्छा देन माई फादर वेन ही केम ऑन द स्टेज एंड वेन ही स्टार्ट सिंगिंग यू वॉन्ट बिलीव इट आई वॉज जैप्ट आई वॉज रियली जैप्ट आई सेट अम्मा इज दिस डैड आई मीन द वे ही वॉज सो बबली एंड सो आई मीन लग नहीं रहा था आई कुड नॉट बिलीव दैट इट्स माई फादर ऑन स्टेज because at home he was a different person and on stage he was totally different and i could not believe it the very first time that i saw him you know <laughs> you know so, i have a song just right for this hari i have to share this yeah yeah please you know the transformation i think is so evident in this song yeah sard aahe keh rahi hai hai ye kaisi pala ki aag sote sote zindagani घबरा के उठी है जान सर्द आहे कह रही है ये कैसी पला की आग सोते सोते जिंदगानी घबरा के उठी है जान मैं यहाँ से वहा जैसे ये कोई मुझे जंग भी कहे कहने दो 
जी कह कर रहे हम प्यार के तूफानों में गिरे हैं हम क्या करें चाहे कोई मुझे जंगली कहे कहने तो जी कहता रहे हम प्यार के तूफानों में गिरे हैं हम क्या करें चाहे कोई मुझे जंगली कहे ंगली <laughs> 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 let me first ask ask you whether this because we, it's very important for me to know whether this is another rumor or whether there's some truth behind this story also i believe in school there was some competition singing competition and you were asked to sing a rafi saab song but your father <laughs> father changed it at the last minute and told you to sing something else is it true yeah it is a, it is a fact it is a fact can you can you please share that story with us but matlab main sahi what happened in School. I mean, those are competition. Like I mean, uh, inter-school college. Uh, sorry, inter-school competition. And uh, I was in Saint Peter's and um, in Bandar. So, a girl named Raj, whose name was Sudhir. He was the son of Sam. So, Raj and Sudhir, there were two uh, two sons he had. The son of was. Uh, obviously he was a big vector plus he was um, you know shankar jagishan's assistant also yes, shankar jagishan so he uh, his son was studying with me aur jab apne ye hua tha apne ye jab competition hua tha to apna obviously school said well, you are a fish upper you should think i mean uh, school se apna ye karna chahiye bola ji okay and i was fond of singing and all like so bole ki theek hai so मैंने सुधीर को बोला कि सुधीर तू बॉन्गो टोंग जो भी अपना रिजम तू बजा हम लोग अपना प्रैक्टिस कम से कम हम लोग को एक दो हफ्ता तो प्रैक्टिस करनी पड़ेगी इसको कंपटीशन में तो अपने को अच्छा करना पड़ेगा यार नाम खराब हो जा रहा है सब बोले कि ठीक है तो एट होम यू सुकम होम सुधीर यू सुकम होम और अपना वो बजा एक रूम में हम लोग चुपचाप अपने कमरे में तो माम हर्ट आ मम्मी उन्होंने बोले कि ये क्या हो रहा है तुम लोग क्या जाना बोले मम्मा हमारा अपना कॉम्पिटिशन है तो मुझे गाने के लिए बोला क्या <laughs> तो माम सर डैडी से बोल बोले मेरी तो हिम्मत नहीं होती है डैडी को कैसे बोली आप बात करिए ना बोले अच्छा मैं बात करू तो मैं तो डायरेक्ट बोली कि अपने इसको कॉम्पिटिशन है स्कूल का तो उसको थोड़ा बहुत सिखा दीजिए फिर थोड़ा बहुत अभी उनके दो चार दिन में थोड़ी सीख जाएगा बोले जितना भी आप सिखा सकते हैं सिखाइए वैसे भी थोड़ा गाता तो है वो देख लीजिए उसको हम लोगों ने दो गाने तैयार किए थे <coughs> तो अभी डैडी ने बोले अच्छा उसको बुलाओ तो मैं गया मम्मा ने बोले तो डैड बुला गए और बोले कि डैड अपना पूछे कि क्या है बोले कि डैडी अपनी कॉम्पिटिशन है तो हम लोग को गाने गाने के लिए तो उसने एक गाना आपका गाना मेरा भी मेरा गाना गाओ बोले हाँ डैडी मैं वैसे दो गाने तैयार किए अपना एक अपना आप वाला और एक अपना एक किशोर कुमार का गाना गाया तो अच्छा सुना गाने तो अभी अपने डायरेक्ट के सामने तो जाती बात तो पहले डायरेक्ट ही सुनाऊंगा मैं तो मैंने गाना सुनाया गीत का गाना वो मेरे मित्र और मेरे मित्र मैंने एक ही मुखड़ा गाया उन्होंने बोले उन्होंने अपने किशोर कुमार का गाना ही नहीं सुना तो किशोर कुमार का गाना था मेरा गाना मत कर तो दिल्ली में आया तो सिंग दैट सॉन्ग विच वॉज मेरी बीजी बीजी थी पलकोंग सॉन्ग एंड बिलीव मी आई गॉट सेकेंड प्राइज फॉर दैट एंड आपको जान के ये भी ताजुब हो गया जो आदमी को पहला प्राइज मिला था उसने अब्बा का गाना गाया था वो दुनिया के रखवाले नौजा साहब and that time believe me judge jo udra baithe the was nashad sir 
اور وہ اپنی نوجات کو اپنے اپنے انہیں کے گانے پہ دیں گے وہ پر میرے دماغ میں تو یہی تھا کہ مطلب بچار صاحب کا گانا ہے اس کے لیے انہوں نے اس کو فرس پیس دیا مطلب وہ سیکنڈ پیس دی تو دیکھ رہا ہے دیکھ رہا ہے تمہیں نے اپنے دیکھ رہا ہے actor? He has sung for several of them. Did he have any personal favorite? No, Baji, are you? Baji, I, I, I don't think so. Huh? Maybe... What I mean? Can I say something? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. <laughs> that that uh, film, if you watch it, you can see it in a year. You can see it in a year. It's 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 a year. He was not fond of watching films, but yes, we used to show the kids a film, of course. Our house was a projector, so we used to show the kids a lot of films, so we used to show the kids a lot of films. Dad used to operate the uh, uh, projector he, himself. He used to show the kids a lot of films, he used to sit and uh, 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 operate the kids a lot of films. But uh, uh-huh. that way, going towards the thing, theater and all, that was never a fond of that. If you ever have جانا بھی ہوتا تھا نا تو ایسا ہوتا تھا کہ مطلب سمجھ لیجیے اسٹارٹنگ کے پانچ دس منٹ اپنا مس کرنا پڑتا تھا اور آخری کے پانچ دس منٹ پہلے نکل جاتے تھے تو اس سے اچھا ہے ڈیڈ نہیں بھی جائے تو بہتر پہلے بھی نہیں دیکھے اور اینڈ میں بھی نہیں دیکھے مطلب اچھا بھی نہیں لگتا تھا تو اما بولتی تھی کہ سنیے آپ مت آیا کریے بچوں کو جانا چاہیے موسم ہوئی تو ایسا تھا اور دیوار بھی دیکھی تھی دیوار انہوں نے کم سے کم تین یا چار بار دیکھی ہوں گی مطلب ہم لوگ ایک دم تاجو ہے کہ ابا تین بار اپنا وہ دیوار فلم دیکھ لیں شاہد بھائی از اٹ ٹرو دیٹ وائل سینگ دیوار وین دیر واز سین بٹین امیتابھ اینڈ ہز مدر ہی بروک ڈاؤن واچنگ دیٹ سین از اٹ ٹرو لائک ویڈ سی اینی تھنگ لائک دیٹ اپ ہم نے تو ایسا نہیں دیکھا But I mean, he liked his acting. Unki acting, unko bhot pasal lai thi. The way he acted, I mean, uh, Amji, uh, Amitabh Bachchan uh, in the film. So he appreciated that. He said, nahi, bhot achhi film bani hai. And uh, Shole and uh, Diwar. Shole bhi, mein le saab se, unho ne do baar dekhi hai. Aur apna Diwar, he saw three times. Wow. Yasmin? Uh-huh. Am I right? Am I right? تو بولو نا کریکٹ تلفظ اتنا صاف نکلتے تھے ان کے تلفظ ساتھ ساتھ میں دماغ میں رکھتے ہوئے لوگوں سے سنا ہے جو ریکارڈنگ کے جو وہ تھے 
जैसे प्यारे जी से काफी लोगों से सुना मैंने रफी साहब जब अपना गाना सुनते थे रिकॉर्डिंग के बाद सुनते थे कि अपना रफी साहब का रिकॉर्डिंग हो गई तो सिर्फ देखने के लिए कि मतलब गाना अच्छा हुआ कि नहीं तो अपना रिकॉर्ड जहाँ पे रिकॉर्डिंग करते थे वहां से निकल के अपने दूसरे रूम में बैठते थे सुनने के लिए गाना होता था लोग अंदर घुसते थे मुझे बात रफी साहब बात बहुत अच्छा गाना कुछ बोलते ही नहीं थे बोले नहीं शॉर्ट नहीं ये ऊपर वाली की देर और कहते थे ये मैं नहीं कर रहा हूँ ये मेरे से करवाया जा रहा है ये ऊपर वाले ने मेरे को देन दी है ये देन ऊपर अल्लाह ताला ने मुझे ये देन दी है वही करवाता है मेरी बस कोई ताकत नहीं है कि मैं ये ऐसा गा सकू ये ऊपर वाला ही करा तो ये गॉड गिफ्टेड अंतना थी वो गॉड फियरिंग पर्सन वेरी गॉड फियरिंग पर्सन you know i'll i'd like to share a song which really says what uh, what you're telling ye duniya ye mehfil mere kaam ki nahi mere kaam ki nahi ये दुनिया ये महफिल मेरे काम की नहीं मेरे काम की नहीं ये दुनिया ये महफिल मेरे काम की नहीं मेरे काम की नहीं ये दुनिया ये महफिल मेरे काम की नहीं मेरे काम की नहीं आई थिंक थी सच लाइक अ रेक्लूस ना that's it the the divinity which controlled him and uh, truly what a what about his friendships family ke bare mein aapne bataya hume what about his very close friendships did he have any close friendships or family was supreme he had to be something uh, as said before hmm. dad never used to socialize He never used to socialize uh, because, as I told you, he used to love his work and his family. Mm-hmm. Friends, they were friends. I'm not saying that. Like, for example, Nashad Sahab was there, Yusuf Sahab was there, uh, Shakir Sahab was there, Anand Bakshi was there, Majnun Sahab was there. They were friends, but I mean, you know, to a limited uh, limitation. Okay. You get my point. I mean, tot- he was totally a family person. My father was a total family teetotaler and a family person. So he never used to socialize. No. And it's it amazing that all of you are also away from the film industry, in the sense not actively involved. Sorry, come again. I said, you know, for a film industry person, that is so rare. And you know, none of you are also actively involved in the in the industry now. That's what I'm saying. I mean, my dad was God gifted, and plus, I mean, I'm telling you, he's just his own. 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 <laughs> उनको अपना गाड़ी जब आती थी तो बोले कासिम तुम रुको मैं बस दो मिनट में आया एक दरवाजे से जाते थे स्टेज पे जाते थे बुके या कुछ भी उनको देना था देकर दूसरे दरवाजे से वापस गाड़ी में बैठ गए वापस माय गॉड शादी में जाने से पहले ही वाज वेरी फॉन्ड ऑफ ड्रेसिंग और yeah. उनको पूरा एक घंटा लगता था तैयार होने में तैयार होने जब वो सीढ़ी से उतरते थे ऐसे लग रहा तो कोई राजा उतर रहा है यू नो आई मीन और थी और थी सो डिड ही हैव एनी 
नसरीन जी आप म्यूट हो गए गलती से तो खुशबू आती थी बहुत Oh. and i'm told once he bought a car in london or he ordered a car in london and but he was to return to india he wasn't able to see the car so he postponed his departure from london by a few days so that he could see the car and uh, drive it before he uh, came home is that true no no my uh, see i was in london that time i was in london that time and uh, i was coming on a tr okay or during that time in, my, in 79 this is i'm talking about 79 when dad uh, uh, had uh, quite a lot of shows all over america europe and canada so uswar apna dad usne bole ki ek gaadi leke jaunga so my brother i mean they said i mean apna dad apna mercedes mat leke jaiye because it's common in india i mean all the cars are common in india ek aisi nayi gaadi leke jaiye so ki people will appreciate ki matlab koi nayi gaadi aa rahi hai तो नई गाड़ी हम दैट टाइम अपना होंडा अकॉर्ड बहुत चलती थी वहां पे यूरोप में तो होंडा अकॉर्ड अपना दैट में उधर से खरीदे थे आई केम आई मीन ही बुकिंग वुकिंग सब ले लिए थे वहीं से एंड देन व्हेन आई केम डाउन टू इंडिया देन आई हैड टू आई मीन आई केम ऑन अ टीआर सो आई केम डाउन एंड द कार केम विद मी सो द कार केम आई थिंक द लास्ट 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 day of uh, june 1980 uh yeah last uh, i think it was 30th june or something like that and then he hardly used the car for about a month maximum a month it was too much bahut zyada ho gaya month but he hardly used that car and then he expired after a month he was for the car you know the car car story uh, reminds me of the driver you know hari you want to ask the question about uh, no there are there are in fact i asked parvez bhai also sometime back that is it true that there was a driver called altaf in the 60s who used to there was a driver called altaf with your father who got married in the 60s and her father had given him 1500 rupees those days for his marriage not parvez bhai sultan sultan you, you, you have to mute yourself nazreen ji you have to mute this nasma ji nasma ji your voice is mute ha 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 beta there there was altaf He worked just for a few years and he left. Yeah. I don't know about Altaf. No. No, no, बहुत छोटे थे तब. बहुत छोटे थे तब. हाँ, बहुत छोटे. बहुत छोटे. I don't know. नहीं चाचा के बारे में तो मालूम है चाचा और काशम भाई. नहीं नहीं चाचा के बारे में Altaf का Altaf का Altaf के बाद आया है काशम भाई. I want to have a I have a question for you guys. Uh, what kind of did he listen to any music? himself like was he did he like music beyond bollywood or and is there any time they where he felt i don't want to sing did he stop singing at any point of time that was uh, when he had gone for hajj when he had gone for hajj and uh, when he came back i mean he was told by many people that uh, singing is not good it is haram you should stop it and all that so i mean it I mean, he he felt it so bad. I mean, he, he that is the time I think he stopped singing. He stopped singing for a few months, and I think it was Noshad Sab who came forward and told him, "Hey, Rafi, you have no other source of income. It's only your voice. You know, don't give this up. This also has been given to you by Allah. So don't stop this." Both unko I mean Noshad Sab ne I mean he coaxed him. He really coaxed him and made him start singing again. You know, so he—that is the time when he wanted to give up. That was, I think, uh, in the seventies. I 70s, think, I think that when he came down, Baji, I'm sorry, but when he came down to Bombay after Hajj, then uh, after a few days, I mean, he went to Bhajan, Sayyid Bhajan, 
London. 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 Yeah, you went to London just to yeah. get away from Bollywood. So oh. my eldest brother stays in. I mean, they're there for the past forty, forty-five years now. So uh, dad went to him. I, I stayed, stayed with him there. So that is the reason why I mean, uh, probably not, and nobody can, you know, uh, recording book can't be sent, right? Picture ni dukaan se chhe chhe. That is the reason why dad stopped. And the rest, what Baji said was right. Uh, what was his relationship with his peers and co-singers, and who was his favorite co-singer? Uh, uh, Nasreen ji, the voice is cracking. No, no. <laughs> Suni was trying to ask you as to who are his favorite uh, co-singers. There was no favorite as such. Everybody was okay with him. It is nothing. I mean, I mean, अपने ये अपने मेरी फेवरेट है वो फेवरेट. No favorite. वो मैंने आपको पहले बताया था सोशलाइजिंग करते ही नहीं था फेवरेट हुआ तो मतलब सोशलाइजिंग हुआ तो सोशलाइजिंग करते ही नहीं थे आप सोचिए ना तो कहने का ये मतलब था कि मतलब ही वॉज कंफर्टेबल विथ एवरीबडी ही वॉज कंफर्टेबल विथ एवरीबडी कोई भी सिंगर हो ना दो मेल हो या फीमेल हो एनी बडी विथ एवरीबडी सो दस गो सच के मतलब शी और ही इज माई फेवरेट सिंगर ही और शी इज माई फेवरेट सिंगर नो नथिंग लाइक दैट नो In in fact, Suman Kalyanpur has said in one of her interviews that when she was a newcomer, the way Rafi Sab, you know, encouraged her, although he was a superstar at that time and she was a rank newcomer, the way he would treat newcomers, you know, make them feel comfortable, and uh, that is how he was with every co-singer of his. That's what we've heard. That he never tried to dominate anybody in the studios. He was a very very adjusting. He would always, you know, it is it is a fact. I mean that. अभी आपको एक एक आपको एक सिलसिला सुना देता हूँ सुमन कल्याणपुर तो काफी सीनियर हो गई ठीक है ना हमारा uh, मैं आपको अपने एक और अपना किस्सा सुना देता हूँ क्योंकि आप लोग बोलोगे कि बाप रे बाप जब वो रिकॉर्डिंग विथ कविता कृष्ण मूर्ति रवि साहब विथ कविता कृष्ण मूर्ति रिकॉर्डिंग डुएट था ये दोनों की रिकॉर्डिंग हो रही थी और लक्ष्मीकांत प्यारे की म्यूजिक ओके okay. और उसके बाद दोनों का डिबेट था तो अपना रिहर्सल जब हो रहा था तो रफी साहब का पहले अपना गाना था पहले वो रफी साहब का गाना था और उसके बाद अपना शिव मतलब उनको फिर आना था अपना एज अ को सिंगर अब डैडी थोड़ा सा मिस्टेक कर रहे थे या जो भी हो रहा था उनको एंड में जाके अपना कुछ भी हो रहा था होता है कभी कभी अपना ह्यूमन तो थोड़ा सा टाइम लग गया Listen to this. I mean, Dad was a superstar in his in in, in, in uh, during uh, Kavita Krishna Murthy. Okay, you know what Dad had to say. बोले बेटा माफी चाहता हूँ आपको मेरी तरफ से तकलीफ हो रही है आपको ज़्यादा टाइम लग गया है मेरी तरफ से माफी. I mean, see the modesty of my father. God. माफी मांग रहे हो कुछ कुछ. ये आज ये मैंने ये मैं अपनी तरफ से नहीं कर रहा हूँ. ये Kavita Krishna Murthy ने खुद कहा है. Hey, hey, hey. Our oh. own mouth. Yeah, I mean that man. What a superstar! He's he's saying that, brother, I'm sorry. I'm late. 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 उनके बारे बारे में में रिकॉर्डिंग तो बोलते हैं कि मेरी बेटी की शादी है तो उन्होंने कुछ बोले नहीं अपना सब ऐसे हिलाए उन्होंने और ऊपर गए रिकॉर्डिंग किया सब किया वहां से हम लोग ने पेमेंट लिया पेमेंट लेने के बाद सब चीज के हाथ से दे दिया एनवेलप और जब वापस हम लोग घर आने लगे लिफ्ट में से उतर के नीचे आने लगे तो पता नहीं किस टाइम वो लिफ्ट मैन के हाथ में पूरा लिफाफा दे दिया हमको भी नहीं मालूम बाद में बोले हमने कुछ अच्छा बोले हाँ मैंने वो लिफ्ट मैन को दे दिया कैसे थे वो पता ही नहीं चलता पता ही नहीं चलता था हमको कि हमने क्या और क्या किया रिकॉर्डिंग में ऐसा और एक और एक किस्सा भी आप आप बताना चाहते हैं जो आडी वर्मन के साथ हुआ यमा यमा का आडी वर्मन का रिकॉर्डिंग में था मैं गाना था रिकॉर्डिंग में हमारे मामू भी थे हम भी थे और शायद के बड़े भाई खालिद वो भी थे हमारे साथ तो रिकॉर्डिंग में हमारा रिहर्सल हुआ सब हुआ 
उसके बाद वो जाने लगे अंदर रिकॉर्डिंग रूम में तो आडी बोले रफी साहब मैं काफी हाई पिच में गाता हूँ तो रफी साहब बोले चलो नीचे उसने ये बोला कि नीचे कर लू बोले इन्होंने बोले नहीं चलो देखते हैं चलो भाई गाना स्टार्ट हुआ जैसे स्टार्ट हुआ यहाँ से आडी बर्मन ने छोड़ा वहां से उन्होंने उठा लिया तो उसी वक्त वो आडी बर्मन उनके पैरों पर पड़ गए बोले ऐसा सर और कुछ किस्से हैं जो आपको याद है आडी 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 बर्मन साहब ने खुद इंटरव्यू दिया था खुद एक इंटरव्यू दिया था बोले आपको और कुछ किस्से याद है उनके रिकॉर्डिंग के समय नहीं ऐसा तो कुछ नहीं वो नेवी शो में गए थी लद्दाख जब गए थे अब की बात कर रहे उनका और सब खाते थे सब पीते थे लेकिन कभी भी उनका गला बैठा नहीं स्पेशल चाय प्लस कोको कोला दैट इज द फार्मूला आई थिंक आर्मी यू नो आई थिंक देयर इज नो इंडिपेंडेंस डे और रिपब्लिक डे विदाउट दिस सॉन्ग आई वांट टू शेयर दैट विद द व्यूअर्स नाउ इट्स सच अ सोल स्टरिंग सॉन्ग खींच दो अपने अब तुम्हारे हवाले वतन साथियों कर चले हम चिराजान तन साथियों अब तुम्हारे हवाले वतन साथियों अब तुम्हारे हवाले वतन साथियों अब तुम्हारे हवाले वतन साथियों actually uh, one question i wanted to ask you was about you know his diction is ke bare mein every 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 singer and everybody is reviewed on their diction and rafi saab is like gold standard gold ke upar kuch ho platinum standard bol do alafus so and we are told that uh, you know music directors used to uh, tell you know to coach his core singers to match his perfection so iske bare mein aap kuch किसे सुना सकते हैं हमें आई थिंक गणेश अनंत रामन आल्सो हैड अ क्वेश्चन समथिंग इन दिस गणेश आर यू देयर यस थैंक यू विद्या आई आई थिंक आई एम रादर ओवरवेल्म्ड एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम लिसनिंग टू हिज फैमिली मेंबर स्पीक अबाउट हिम रफी साहब द पर्सन एंड लिसनिंग टू हिज सॉन्ग्स आई कैन नेवर लिसन टू रफी सॉन्ग्स विदाउट क्राइंग बस आंसू ऐसे ही निकल ही आते हैं कोई भी गाना हां तो एनीवे uh i thanks vidya i wanted to actually when you asked see you played that song madhuban mein radhika nache re uh, sung by rafi and you also asked a question about rafi and co singers so i had the uh, you know opportunity and the good fortune of interviewing lata mangeshkar when i wrote this book and this is what lata ji said about rafi sahab to me in her own words and i have actually quoted 
uh, her words there have been controversies you know about them like shahid bhai said we never know whether they are true or not and media ne kitna matlab bola hai we have never know but this is what she says she says among all my co singers rafi sahab had the best voice the voice with maximum melody his range too was awesome i don't know if he had learned classical but he sang classical songs so well madhuban mein radhika nachere is one of my favorites i don't think any other singer in our industry could have sung that song the way rafi sahab did though he sang every kind of song i would often feel that he was best in articulating sadness and pain i love most of his sad songs and ghazals i also respected the sheer commitment what his family has said very often i also respect the sheer commitment to work that he had my god he used to sing round the clock he would leave home early in the morning one day and sometimes re- return home only the next morning he was far busier than i was this is lata mangeshkar's own words about rafi sa so i thought it's important to speak uh, about what one co singer said there is only one more para that manade manade also spoke to me about uh, rafi uh, manade saab and this is what he says just a minute in fact uh, when hi yeah every music director preferred for certain songs only rafi saab that's what i understand of course of course uh, now this is what uh manade says at the end of his interview you know he was 80 plus manade saab was 80 plus when i met him it was 2 years or 3 years before he passed away right so he says the playback singer i truly feared was mohammad rafi he was an instinctive singer and i required all my training all my grounding in classical music to match his impact while singing duets i used to be extra careful knowing that i have to be on my guard as the person singing with me is the one and only mohammad rafi i used to tell myself manna your lines have to stand on their own no matter that the co singer is rafi you know? <laughs> so i thought these two quotes are i mean, i'm happy to present them to rafi saab's family it's a privilege shai, and honor shai bhai you you were not present when ganesh was introduced he is a famous uh, musicologist and historian he has written one of the best books on hindi film music called bollywood uh, memories melodies oh, bollywood very melodies good. very good fantastic thank you congratulations congratulations yeah sure thank you thank you shai i i like these two quotes i mean what you have quoted uh i am very surprised but i mean at the same time i'm very i'm, I'm happy to hear these uh, quotes yeah i mean manad manadat so i know i mean he was so amazing when i met him also long time back i was i'm talking about the bagar about i don't know now few years back or something like that i met him once and uh, he used to like i mean you know talk good about that yeah. thank, uh, thank you ganesh ji for those uh, nice quotes I had a, yeah, a question that came into my mind. Uh, Rafi Sahab had an amazing range. I mean, the, the range of songs that he has sung. I mean, from romantic songs to bhajans to kavali. Am I right if I say that uh, Rafi Sahab would have sung the maximum ghazals, uh, bhajans, and uh, patriotic songs in movies? that's what i because many a times i hear a whole lot of ghazals bhajans uh, patriotic songs are sung by rafi saab so will i be wrong if i say that uh, he has sung the maximum number of these songs oh yes he has sung no doubt about it sabse <coughs> zyada i think unhone hi gaaya sabse zyada ye sare gaane ji yeah the bhajans also you know i mean so many he has sung So I can say he'll be the he's the only person in the industry who has sung so many bhajans. I mean, see, let, let me put it this way. No, let me put it this way. See, I mean, if you're talking about the, I mean, the quote of yours is a little bit different. What I'm trying to say, okay, in Bollywood, in movies, movies, Dad has sung more bhajans. Movies, private and all. I mean, I will not say that. No. 
Yeah. Not that, but, uh, because there are so many other bhajan singers also. So I mean that way in movies, yes, that has sung more bhajan and more patriotic songs than any other singer. Only in movies I'm talking about, not mm-hmm. private. Okay. Parvez bhai, I have I have one question for you because uh, somewhere I came across yes, this that uh, Mahendra Kapoor had said. that rafi saab was so naive that he would not even know how to sign an autograph when somebody came he didn't know what an autograph is he asked me to sign as mohammad rafi oh, okay. <laughs> parvez bhai your, your your reaction to this because there are so many stories that we, we wanted the family to clarify we wanted, we wanted to hear it from the horse's mouth and i told nasreen ji that's exactly the reason why i'm asking these questions parvez bhai please go ahead. can you hear me yeah yeah he can hear you. As you asked about uh, Mahendra Kapoor Sahab, he was himself a standard singer at that time, and Rafi Sahab, of course, was uh, one of the highest uh, standard singers in that time. Uh, he was the most sort of singer and the best, I can say. And when uh, Mahendra Ji came in contact, Rafi Sahab was already standard, and yet I presume, uh, personally presume, he must have signed lot of autographs earlier, and uh, saying that. Asking him about uh, asking Mahendra Ji ki ye autograph kya hota hai, or whoever he was asking, was not uh, like I cannot justify that myself personally feeling that Tapi Sir asking ye autograph kya hai, so he did it. So he must be thinking that you are also established singer. Maybe these children or the students at times they are asking for your autograph also. So he was so modest. He said, uh, "When the three autograph they did, that means you give your autograph. That could be the thing." So because what we've heard is Ravi Sahab used to personally reply to his fans' uh, letters. So yes. if, he, if he knew, yeah, there are photographs. He's signing a lot of lot yes. of uh, yes, yes, and uh, he used to sign himself at that time. And later on, when the photograph got over, then the uh, photographs were printed, and then so actually we can go on and on. Always by because. Uh, There are so many such stories being circulated that we don't even know whether they are true or not. Because there is there is one episode where uh, it is said that Kishore was banned during emergency. All India Radio had banned uh, Kishore Kumar sir, and then the ban got lifted suddenly because uh, Sanjay Gandhi, I, I believe, was responsible for the ban. And uh, then suddenly, when the ban got lifted, mm-hmm. Kishore even didn't know that who was responsible behind the lifting of the ban. Then, uh, then later on, Kishore discovered that it was actually the Rafi no, Sahab who had spoken to Sanjay Gandhi Sahab and got the ban lifted. And he didn't want anybody to even know that he has done. Is 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 this story true, Nasreen Ji or Parvez Bhai? Shahid Bhai, or... uh, I... Shahid Bhai, any one of you can talk about uh, this. I think because... children can answer this question better. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, uh, sorry, I did not. Uh... The question. What was the reason? No, no. Kish Kishore Kishore Kumar was banned during emergency. By All India Radio, and the ban got lifted at the behest of Rafi Sahab, who spoke to Sanjay Gandhi. Is what the story goes. So I just wanted to cross check whether it is true. Ah, ah, absolutely. Yes, correct. It is true. Yes. This is correct. This is correct. उन्होंने बात की थी. हाँ, that's बात की थी. Miraj Bhai, because because he was also very fond of his co-singers. That uh, there is a story which I think you will be in a better position to answer that. When Mukesh Sab passed away and his body had arrived from US, the right. customs were insisting on an autopsy to be conducted on uh, Mukesh's body. And I believe that Rafi Sab went to the Chief Commissioner of Customs, who was a great Rafi Bhak himself. And the moment he went and requested, the body was released without any condition. Is it true? True. Very true. Very true. Yes. So yes. I thought, uh, Vidya, if you have a song to play, you play that so that we'll close with one last question to the family. I That think he was. Everybody's favorite. So, um, uh, what is the last question, Suri Hari Hari? You want to ask, or should I play one? You play a song, then I'll ask the last question regarding because I think that is for me the most important question of the day. <laughs> <laughs> दौल 
जगत का ऐसा भी क्या कि तुझे कुछ भी याद नहीं क्या हुआ तेरा वादा वो कसम वो इरादा भूलेगा दिल जिस दिन तुम्हें वो दिन जिंदगी का आखिरी दिन होगा क्या हुआ तेरा वादा वो कसम दिस वॉज अ सॉन्ग विच फेच रफी साहब अ नेशनल अवार्ड एंड ऑल्सो अ फिल्म फेयर अवार्ड आई थिंक यू गॉट द फिल्म फेयर अवार्ड फ्रॉम ओपिन अयर साहब इफ आई एम नॉट मिस्टेक you know the other thing no hari i wanted to know point out was many actors who were not so famous but mm-hmm. rafiza's voice got them that extra edge i mean even there were so many comedians who became famous because of rafiza's songs i mean imagine the kind of influence that johnny walker's songs had those days why johnny walker even mehmood saab you know lot of comedians also benefited by some brilliant singing of by rafiza saab he was of course the uh, voice of uh, Shami Kapoor. I mean, without uh, Shami Kapoor, would never think of anybody else other than Rafi Saab. But all the heroes, whether it was Devanand, whether it was Shami Kapoor, whether it was Rajendra Kumar, whether it was Dilip Saab, whether it was uh, uh, Dharmendra, whether it was Rajkumar, Jani Rajkumar. Jani Rajkumar was a die-hard fan of Rafi Saab. He would never want anybody else to sing. So, I mean, my thinking is Rafi Saab is a god. Yes, yes. For so now we would like to know about. Rafi Saab, the God Himself, because that was the last part of this. Because see, we have been inspired by his singing, but I think there is a greater story to tell about his uh, philanthropic activities, the kind of person that he was. Such a large-hearted person. I mean, there are so many stories of how kind-hearted he was, how giving a person Rafi Saab was. Unke ghar se koi aaj tak nobody has gone back empty-handed is what we've heard. So would you like to share some incidents re- uh, relating to this? Because there is one famous incident, of course, that when he had finished a recording with Noshad Saab, and when he had when he got into a car, a beggar had come asking for money, and he put his hand inside the pocket, and whatever came, he put it inside that uh, katori of the beggar. And then uh, I believe Noshad Saab to- told Rafi Saab that "Mian gin to lo." So I believe uh, Rafi Saab replied saying, "Jab bukhara la gin ke nahi deta hai, to main kyu gin?" So I mean, his, it's So that is the kind of person I feel. That is a that's an inspirational story to tell. There are very few people who have been like Rafi Saab in the world. Let me tell you, not only in the industry. So we would like to know that side of Rafi Saab because there are so many things which pe- even you, the family, didn't know that he was supporting so many families uh, who were getting monthly, you know, uh, envelopes from Rafi Saab till his last breath, and only after his passing away, even you got to know. Can you please share those incidents with us? As I, as I have already said before, he would do be करते थे हमको को पता ही नहीं चलता था, you know we we never knew to know. हाँ during the month of Ramzan I would say जब हम लोग को भी मालूम पड़ता था people I mean there was a big queue you know outside the gate इतनी लंबी line रहती थी लोग आते थे Ramzan में खास करके you know they used to come and he whatever he he had I mean he used to give them. You know? उनके जेब में बस पैसे रहते थे निकाल के सबको अपने हाथ से देते थे ये नहीं कि हम लोग किसी को भेज दिया किसी के सारे फकीर खड़े हैं तो ही डिस्ट्रीब्यूट मनी टू देम ऐसे था तो ऐसे तो बहुत शाहिद लॉर्ड ऑफ म्यूजिशियंस यू नो हुआ रिटायर्ड एनी सोर्स ऑफ इनकम देवर गेटिंग मंथली पेमेंट फ्रॉम रफी साहब Yeah, I suppose everything that, but it doesn't look like how Baji said. He, I mean, dad, who, 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 who एक फकीर अपना हमारे घर में मतलब बंगला था हमारा तो गेट के पास अपना वो बोला था कि मेरे को साथ से मिलना है साथ से मिलना है हमारे वॉचमैन का नाम था शेर सिंह और अपना शेर सिंह अपना सबको साफ बोलता था मतलब मामू को भी साफ बोलता था डैड को भी साफ बोलता था सबको साफ बोलता था साफ 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 ऐसा करेगा 
नहीं रहे तो जब अपना बोले कि साथ मतलब थोड़ा सा अपना उज्जत कर रहा था तो हमारे मामू हमारा अपना बंगला जो था ना तो ग्राउंड प्लस मान था तो उधर से ग्राउंड पे अपना हॉल था जब तो मामू ने सुने आवाज तो मामू ने बोले खेती क्या है बोला साहब कुछ नहीं इतना ये मांगने वाला है और अपना जबरदस्ती बोले साहब से बोले बोला आपसे मिलना है साथ उधर से वो चिल्ला रहे मैं मांगने वाला अपना फकीर नहीं हूँ मुझे बस साहब से मिलना है तो मामू ने कहा कि उसको अंदर बुलाओ तो अंदर अपना जब गए तो हॉल में बैठे ये चाहे तो मामू बैठे ये अपना बैठे आई मामू बिकॉज आई वो उधर से उधर अपना घूम रहा था मामू ने बताया पूरा किस्सा तो ही आई मीन वो चुप क्या बैठे हुए पांच दस मिनट बैठे हुए वी डिट नॉट अटर वर्ड मामू डिट नॉट अटर वर्ड आई मीन मामू इज वेटिंग के मतलब क्या बोलेगा बोले मानने वाला नहीं कुछ भी नहीं तो सडनली सडनली ही मामू आते भाई क्या बात है क्या बात है आप अपना कुछ बोलिए आप कुछ बताइए बोले नहीं आपसे नहीं मुझे साफ से बात कर मुझे साफ से बात करनी तो अभी मामू दाउ यू गॉट कंफ्यूज बोले कि साफ से बात करनी तो बोले कि आप क्या बोलना क्या चाह रहे हो बोले नहीं मुझे रफी साहब से बात करनी तो मामू उनको आई मीन एकदम ये अरे ये लोगों को मालूम नहीं कि मतलब अपने रफी साहब को गुजर के करीब छह बना तब उन्होंने कहा कि आपको पता होना चाहिए और दुनिया को मालूम है कि रफी साहब को गुजर के छह महीने हो गए वो आदमी सोफे पर बैठा खड़ा हो गया खड़े होके वो बोलते तभी मैं सोचू मेरे पैसे क्यों बंद हो गए तभी मैं सोचू मेरे पैसे क्यों बंद हो गए मेरे पास पैसे और वो था कश्मीरी बाबा ही यू टू कम फ्रॉम आई मीन कश्मीर के बाबा से अब कभी मिले नहीं कुछ भी नहीं तब अपने टू कंफर्म दैट मामू हमारे अपने डैड के जो अपने ऑफिसर काम संभालते थे उनका नाम था मोहनलाल अंकल मोहनलाल जी तो अब मामू ने मामू ने फिर अपना उनसे कंफर्म किया तब अपना मोहनलाल अंकल ने बोले कि हाँ साहब अपना हर महीने में मनी ऑर्डर जाता था कश्मीर ये बाबा के पास घर में किसी को नहीं मालूम होता ये बाद में ओपन हुआ कि अपने कश्मीर में एक बाबा थे अब्बा उनको हर महीने पैसे भेजते थे तो दिस वॉज माई फादर आई मीन उनको ही वॉज वेरी मतलब वो क्या करते थे दान तो ऐसे देते थे तो हम लोग को मालूम होता तो ही वॉज वेरी जनरस वेरी वॉम वेरी वेरी नाइस पर्सन यू नो आई मीन down to her there is there is there is one story shahid bhai that when he had gone overseas for uh, performing in a he did a few shows overseas probably uk or us one of those countries and the family had given him a request you know to get so many things for them he came back empty handed and uh, the family was very upset that he didn't buy anything for anybody because those days you know there was a lot of fascination for uh, foreign goods and uh, later on they realized that the money that he had collected from the shows he had ordered you know uh, machines to be donated to different uh, institutions different hospitals which were to help uh, and uh, treat the children See, again i think i mean this is just a rumor ki we dad jab bhi aate the bachcho ke liye kuch na kuch laate hi the agar kuch bhi lena chocolate to lekar aate the chocolate is what they said he brought only chocolate nahi 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 nah. kuch bhi lekar to aate hi the aisa nahi abhi maine apne chocolate boli to aapne chocolate pakad liya <laughs> no, that's what that's what they're saying. That's exactly the reason why I asked you. As an Ida, that was such a person. That means, for children, 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 for अल्लाह ताला ने इतना नवाजा था तो मशीन तो वो तो कभी भी ले सकते हैं दैट इज नॉट अ बिग थिंग फॉर हिम इट वाज नॉट अ बिग थिंग फॉर हिम टू बी वेरी ऑन तो उस हिसाब से मतलब उतना ये तो कुछ कहानी तो चाहिए ना रफी साहब के बारे में कुछ बोलने के लिए दैट इज एग्जैक्टली द रीजन व्हाई आई वांटेड टू यू नो सेट द रिकॉर्ड स्ट्रेट बिकॉज़ व्हेन वी हियर इट फ्रॉम द हॉर्सेस माउथ द रिकॉर्ड इज सेट स्ट्रेट सो 
once it comes out in public domain, the people will start speculating on these kind of things. That's exactly very the reason true. why I asked you these questions. Very true. Very true. I agree. So, yeah. I think it's over to Mr. Anand Madhavan to do the honors as far as the closing remarks are concerned, because I think we have we have uh, engaged you for more than an hour and a half. So yeah, yeah. So over to Mr. Anand Madhavan. I have one song at the very end, but that I'll tell you. I'll play after Anand ji uh, closes. Oh, what can I say after such an engrossing session? Really, very, very engrossing, and we are uh, really honored. We are really honored that we have the family of Rafi Saab in front of us. I mean, I I wish it could be been physically in front of us, but at least you virtually you are you are in front of us. To we, I mean, I personally I didn't even dream that one day I I would be doing this. You know, uh, interacting with along with others with uh, Rafi Saab's own family. I consider myself extremely fortunate uh, that I have been asked to do uh, to propose a word of thanks. But usually, you say it's my pleasure to pro propose a word of thanks. I would say it's an honor for me to propose a word of thanks for this program. Uh, yeah, what can what can one say about Rafi Sahab? You know, personally, uh, I can. During my childhood, I've just grown up with. Uh, you know, Bollywood, not only Rafi Saab, but all the other Bollywood singers and so many songs. But uh, speaking of Rafi Saab, you know, as a child, you know, all these songs enter your his songs and his voice actually enter your brain and your blood and your veins. You know, it is like that. You no, know? and uh, you do you take them for granted. You know, I took I I took him for granted. I feel sorry about that now. You know, but when you actually start learning music and then when you start singing. And when you get, you know, uh, acquire a little bit of knowledge in music, only then you realize, you know, then you realize how great a person this man was. So, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, what can be said about him as a singer has been already been said. So, what other uh, things that uh, I came to know personally through this was what what kind of human being was, you know, only the family can throw, you know, such a light on on Rafi Saab, the person. And uh, I mean, uh, right in the beginning, uh, Nazreen ji said that you know when somebody asked a question, was how how did uh, Rafi Saab uh, get drawn into music and how he became such a famous person? She simply said it's God's gift. So uh, yeah, I can understand why th that was. You know, uh, so many so many things are there when as a singer when you. When you have to sing, there are so many aspects or technical aspects to music, you know. But a person like Rafi Sa was beyond all technicality, you know. You just he just sang, and then everything fell into place. You know, all the elements, musical elements, and all the pronunciation and all the intonation, and which which every you know people uh, take years to acquire, you know. It just fell into place for him so simply, and that could be only because of God's gift. So right, it's so right. So, I would like to thank uh, first and foremost all the me members of Rafi's uh, Rafi Saab's family, Meeraj and uh, Nazreen ji, Parvez and Yasmin ji, Mohammed uh, uh, Shahi ji, and last but not the least, Imtiaz ji for uh, you know being the fulcrum of uh, how today has happened actually. So, on behalf of Arohi, from the bottom of my heart. I would thank all the members of Rafi's family and all the viewers of today. Uh, needless to say, everybody is a die-hard fan of Rafi Saab. And uh, thank you for uh, throwing so much light on Rafi Saab, the person who, which we have read bits and pieces. And you also authenticated some of the questions that we've asked, some of the stories that we've heard. Some you have denied and some you have authenticated. So thanks for everything. My pleasure. Our pleasure. Our pleasure. Our pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'd like yeah. to add uh, show one more thing. Beautiful Did song, which I think tells us, you know, how we feel about him. And this is a very famous photograph. Would you like to I say anything about this uh, moment, uh, Shahidji or uh, anybody? During this time, during this yeah. time, I was with Dad. Oh. I was I was in America with Dad. Wow. The, uh, uh, during this time, I mean, uh, uh, Muhammad Ali and my dad, 
They, I mean, they both were staying in the same hotel. You know, and somebody said, and that was a big fan of Muhammad Ali as well. He was. He said, yeah, we should have meeting Karadzo. So one common friend, he took an appointment with uh, Muhammad Ali, and he says that, I mean, he's a very big, famous singer from India. So he wants to meet you and all like, you know. So he gave us an honor. He came to our room. That was the best thing. I mean, he came to our room and he met that. Wow. Awesome. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I remember because I was there myself. <laughs> I removed photographs with him as well during that time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So let's uh, end this uh, session, beautiful session, with the song uh, which which represents what we all feel about Rafi Sahib. Mujhko dekhe bina karar na tha Ek aisa bina aur guzra hai Mujhko dekhe bina karar na tha कहूंगा तो रूठ जाओगे हाँ तुम मुझे यू बुला न पाओगे जब कभी भी सुनोगे गीत मेरे संग संग तुम गुन गुनाओगे हाँ तुम मुझे बुला न पाओगे हो तुम मुझे विद्या आई थिंक नजरीन जी हैज समथिंग टू से यस विद्या आई एम सॉरी नजरीन जी वी डोंट हियर यू इंक्लूड आई वुड लाइक टू से टू थिंग्स अबाउट माय फादर आई बिकम वेरी इमोशनल नाउ द फर्स्ट प्रोग्राम व्हिच माय फादर हैड डन इन हिज लाइफ टाइम वाज the first program abroad was sri lanka and the last program also was sri lanka it was on the 10th of may 1980 and that time my father was invited over there and when he had gone to sri lanka this the program shuru hua it was an it was an open theater pura khula hua tha aur i'm not exaggerating how much there were about 13 lakh people over there 13 lakhs and wo gana ga rahe the perform kar rahe the and he, he was also in tears when he saw the crowd over there he he, he just could not you know itne in ke wo keh rahe the ki allah pak ne mujhko itni izzat diya hai he has given me so much of love and respect from the people ki aaj itne sare log and you won't believe it it was raining like cats and dogs it's the new barish that it was raining so much that everyone opened their umbrella and they stood and they were they were sitting there with the umbrellas and they were listening to him throughout and aap yakeen nahi karenge you won't believe this the president he went on the stage he opened the umbrella and he was standing there and listening to my father when dad came back home from sri lanka he told us this incident and he says ki and he was in tears when he was telling us you know he says upar wale ne mere ko itni izzat di hai itni izzat aaj zindagi mein pehli baar maine itna bada majma dekha hai you know so many people had come to listen to me so ek to ye baat unki kehni thi humko dusri baat jab beech mein log kehte the na ki rafi sahab you know aapka downfall aa gaya hai you know they used to say that Up, I mean, that was in the 70s, like you know. So my father always used to point. Who pari hamesa ki dusron ko bhi mauka milna chahiye, ya? Who pari wala sab ko dekhta hai, aise karke. But he said, I remember he used to talk to us. Ham log se baat kabi kiye. I I would listen. He had told me also. He said, "Beta, meri ek hi khwaish hai." कि जब मैं इस दुनिया से निकलूं 
तो मैं टॉप पे रहूं बिकॉज ही हैव सीन द इंडस्ट्री ही हैव सीन इट इन साइड आउट दो ही डिड नॉट मैंशन टू आर्स नाउ वेन वी ग्रो आर वी मेक श्योर एंड वी कैन टू नो वॉट इज वॉट तो कोई भी किसी का ख्याल नहीं रखता है द म्यूजिशन द एक्टर्स हु तो उनको वो जैसे अजीब सा लगता था ही सर बस मैं यही दुआ करता हूँ कि जब भी ऊपर वाला मुझको बुलाए जब मैं टॉप पे रहू एंड जैसे एटीज में अब्बा का माशाला से आई थिंक सेवेंटी नाइन से ही सेवेंटी नाइन एटीज में उनका नाम फिर ऊंचाई पे होने लगा एंड थर्टी फर्स्ट जुलाई ही एक्सपायर और हम तो यही कहते हैं कि हमारे इट वॉज कहते हैं ना दुआ कबूल कबूलियत की घड़ी है दैट इज द टाइम वेन अल्लाह हैज हर्ड हिम दिन और हिज दुआ एंड ही हैज लिसन टू हिम और उनको सब बोलते हैं एट अ वेरी यंग एज ही इज गॉन बट अच्छा ही हुआ आई वुड से यू नो दो ही इज माई फादर बट लुकिंग एट द वर्ल्ड लुकिंग एट द इंडस्ट्री आई वुड से यस ही हैज गॉन एट द राइट टाइम एट God bless all. We are very to you, ji, ji, and, uh, and bhai, and and Parvez Miraz bhai, that you shared a very special day with us. Because today is is your mother's uh, birthday is what you told me in the afternoon. And, uh, no the, yeah. th- and there cannot be a better tribute on this day. And we are we are, we are we are humbled by the fact that you have allowed us to be a part of this. It's a pleasure. फ्रॉमिंग so good luck and stay safe all thank of you thank you so much thank you thank you sir thank you thank you all thank you thank you so much thank you thank you thank you imtiaz bhai especially for for facilitating i just want to add one word uh, when uh, nasin ji said that uh, rafi sahab went to sri lanka as a massive crowd of 13 13 lakh people and those people never knew hindi yeah great thing is <laughs> they listened to him in that rain and most of them were not knowing hindi only it was some uh, radio silon was playing in the songs so that was something great <laughs> sri lanka is always a special place the beautiful yes, place the people are also so fabulous great. so great yeah. okay thank you all so much you're so blessed and honored thank you today to the to the listening thank to the sabs thank you so much thank you. special thanks to intias bhai intias bhai come as welcome i mean <laughs> thank you so much all, this show has happened because of you so i am eternally okay. grateful you when i come to chennai let's meet again sure sure always <laughs> always a pleasure to meet you okay thank you so much okay 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 take care all of you take care okay bye bye thank you swanji for joining But this one boy has also joined us from London so thank you yes. thank you for being there on this very special day it was a it was a pleasure pleasure listening to it and <laughs> salam to everybody there and goodbye lots goodbye that is that's nazreen ji a special thank you for having stitched the whole thing together because your initiative where you got the entire family together and you shared your priceless uh, memories with us on a special day on a very special day we are humbled by that okay thank you thank you thank you parish bhai thank you thank you so much thanks have a nice evening all of you thanks thank you parish bhai yeah have you stopped the video लाइव ट्रांसमिशन स्टॉप ग्रैंड बोले हमने बोले कि शांति फाइट से स्टार्ट हो गया
Hello, can I? Shabab pe mein zara si Sharaab pe tunga Kisi hasi ki taraf ये गुलाब फेंकूंगा पर्दा है 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 पर्दा पर्दा है पर्दा पर्दे के पीछे पर्दा नशी है पर्दा नशी को भे पर्दा ना कर दूंगा पर्दा पर्दा नशी को भे पर्दा ना कर दू तो अकबर मेरा नाम नहीं है पर्दा है पर्दे के पीछे पर्दा नशी है पर्दा नशी को बे पर्दा न कर दू तो अकबर मेरा नाम नहीं है पर्दा 